As you can tell by the title, this is a, a something we gotta speak about. Something I had to like, you feel what I'm saying, get off my chest, and also something that just needs to be addressed. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna lie, I've been procrastinating, bro. I want to get into this video. I don't really care if y'all y'all like this video, like as in like literally liking the video. I, I mean, I don't really care if y'all actually like the video, like as in like content wise. This is just something I have to talk about. I have a book with me, so if y'all literally asking me why am I looking at the book, I literally wrote down, wrote down everything that I need to talk about within this video. Um, you feel what I'm saying? What we have to talk about first is talking about the breaks and all the lies and excuses and reasons for not dropping videos consistently or how I was when I was dropping when I was 16 years old. Now that I'm 18 years old, it's insanely crazy how I'm not have been dropping like how I've been, you know, before. Like, I used to drop every other day and now I'm dropping every other month what the fuck like that that's hilarious so i was going through something with my loved one and um i was a lot i was a lot focused on that particular person and i was also focused on school and catching up because i was so focused on that particular person so it was like i was like fo my head was in too many different places that it could not be on fo it could not trust me Trust me, YouTube, it was not easy to manage my time. Now, I feel like it's a lot that I gotta say, but we gonna get into that, motherfucker. We gonna get into that. So, trust me, though, like, times has changed, and that is the reason why I've lied so many times, took so many breaks, so many reasons, so many excuses. It's because I was focused on someone. I wasn't focused on myself, nor was I even focused on school to the point where I had to focus on someone and school catch up, which is terrible. I don't want anybody in my family or anybody like that's watching me to ever do that. Don't ever like put your put somebody else or anything else, whatever it is, before you. Always put yourself first, okay? Always do that. You feel what I'm saying? Now, the second reason and the second thing that I wanted the second thing I wanted to talk about in this video was the real reason why I didn't have a prom date <laughs> and why I kept dodging the fact that everyone kept asking about my date. It's self-explanatory. Now that I said it with the first thing I was talking about. Um, I was going through something. Uh, I really I really do want to address this though in a, in a very general proper way because a lot of people do be asking me about this. But I'm not gonna lie. To be honest, I was going through something with that particular person and that particular person just wasn't feeling me asking her you feel what i'm saying and that's why i just ended up going by myself popped up by myself i don't know if y'all seen these photos but you feel what i'm saying these photos are all by myself yeah boom but that's the, that was the second thing i wanted to talk about so please stop asking me why did i go to prom by myself it's very self-explanatory yeah okay now three the third thing that i wanted to talk about in this video was also i got my camera stolen and it's crazy because I got my camera stolen at a friend's party. Someone, I don't know who, at a friend's party. And it ended up just being gone. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It ended up just being, how can I explain it? Like, it was one moment it was there. And the next moment I turned around for a good 30 minutes after, it was gone. And I didn't think, I didn't think that was the case. I didn't think, like, anybody would do that. So I really searched around. And then I found out it was stolen. There was no way it was, there was no way it would walk away. There's no way. There's no way, and plus we were in a a a, a a a a a a business area. It wasn't like a like an outside party or a house party. It was a business area where they knew cameras, everything. So all I'm gonna say was it was stolen. You feel what I'm saying? So I went through a little sad phase after that. You feel what I'm saying? Because I feel like why the fuck did anybody have to steal from me when everybody that I was around in that party was cool with me and I was always cool with them. I was never disrespectful. All types of shit. So it's like, uh, my camera got stolen. I went through a little sad phase. And I was putting it all into something that wasn't worth it. Like, I was putting my all, like, good energy that I could have put it in YouTube and went hard and crazy. Like, how am I going to start going hard and crazy? So, like, for example, like, if y'all see this t-shirt in the previous video, it's because, you feel what I'm saying? Um, I'm going hard and crazy. I'm about to record, like, mad different videos and 
really like get back consistent on YouTube with this W fucking content. So I really do miss talking to y'all and I really do appreciate y'all niggas for really like listening because real talk, I gotta get this off my chest. Finally. Yes, oh finally, bro. I don't know why somebody's calling me. We're locked in. I slammed that motherfucker a little too hard, bro. Jesus Christ. But we're locked in. Finally, oh finally. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We're broken up. Yes. We are broken up. Um things happen in a relationship, you feel what I'm saying? Uh not everything goes your way in a relationship. Not everything happens how you expect it, you feel what I'm saying? But I wish that y'all niggas would not ask me so much and it's really obvious, like I mean, I understand that I left mad YouTube videos up, and I ain't gonna lie, I'm not deleting them. Like, I'm letting y'all niggas know that right now. I'm not deleting them. You feel what I'm saying? They're staying up. Whatever comes up on my YouTube channel stays up on my YouTube channel. So, therefore, I'm not deleting the YouTube channels. I mean, I'm not deleting the YouTube videos. But, yes, we are broken up. Yes, it is self-explanatory. Yes, I was gatekeeping the fact for a good while now. Not that long, but a good while now. And, um... Yeah, bro, like, I'm not really, like, here to really, like, tell y'all my whole personal life, bro. But at the same time, y'all do deserve a little bit of insight because this is a family where we're dealing with cameras. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Why not tell y'all what y'all need to hear and what y'all deserve to hear? Listen, man, I really don't care how much views this get. Whoever fuck with me gonna see this video. Whoever fuck me gonna like this video. Whoever fuck with me gonna like, you feel me? They gonna subscribe to this video. And they're going to keep pushing on and not ask me no more questions about these questions that I addressed in this book. You feel what I'm saying? So, I love y'all niggas. Make sure y'all know what the fucking name, bro. Make sure y'all know what the name is now, bro. Kalil YC, we back. No more no more procrastinating. Straight consistently. I'm going to try to do three videos a week. Streaming every day on Twitch. If y'all don't know the name, Twitch here. You feel what I'm saying? I love y'all niggas. And we out, bro.